go ahead and tell us your story and, and you know, how, how the anxiety and depression started. I think you did mention it, it started two years ago and, and what you've done uh, in that time span and, and what kind of improvements that you've, you've had using the clean slate. Okay, so, um, well, originally the actual depression started about years ago. Um, I had to go through a course of IVF to try and have children. Um, oh. It didn't work. Um, so obviously that left me uh, devastated. Um, so that's actually when the depression started about 11 years ago. Um, and I kind of went through a whole spiritual journey and you know, really thought I'd kind of dealt with it. In so, you know, do when we, when we go on a spiritual journey I mean you know I did I did various things there's not a lot that I didn't do um and I really thought I'd kind of dealt with my issues and dealt with the despair of not having children um and it was interesting that two years ago my life was actually in a really good place I was in a a, a job that I loved um you know everything was going really well financially and um I started to feel a bit down and literally within the space of 24 hours, I found myself standing on the edge of a platform at a train station wanting to jump. Uh, and I thought I had jumped um, just complete. I, it, you know, it's it's a it's a place of complete and utter despair. It was a huge shock, obviously. I don't really know how I got home, uh, but I'm, I somehow I don't know. M me personally, I think it was some kind of divine intervention. Um, I don't remember. The next thing I remember is being at home in my house and um, it was a Friday. So that whole weekend was, you know, quite traumatic. Um, you know, I wanted to kill myself, I wanted to kill my partner, I wanted to kill my fur babies. It was all very dark. And, and, and uh, so on the Monday I had to, I called the doctor, went to see the doctor on the Monday and I was put on high priority. Uh, which basically means that I had to get um, care and attention straight away because I was on, you know, the high priority list. So, uh, and what, so I was quite lucky. I had, I had, you know, I was really lucky. I got counselling straight away. My work was really understanding. Um, I managed to kind of pull myself out of, you know, that kind of dark, deep uh, place of despair but what transpired after that is that I started to get really bad anxiety and really bad panic, which is something that I had never, ever experienced before. You know, we all get scared and we all get anxious, but, you know, this feeling of pure panic and everything just closing in on you was so debilitating. Um, so I had to leave my role at that time, which was as a, a manager in a, in a major department store in London. I had to leave that role. Um, and I went for a role as a, a, a sales, um, just a sales representative. Uh, I told the company that I was going to go and work for, um, but, you know, of my mental health issues. And they were really good, really supportive. You know, if I had anxiety, you know, they would they would kind of give me the time off work. There was no kind of issues around how much time I took off sick and, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and also 11 years ago, I actually got because of the IVF and the medication I had to take, I was also, I also ended up getting really bad psoriasis and really an asthma. Uh, so, uh, Sandy, who has been my sole brother for about, you know, four years, he introduced me to uh, Clean Slate back in, I think it was in, I think it was June of this year. So, you know, previous to that, I'd had, and the anxiety could kick off, uh, you know, such, such small reasons, but obviously, you know, really debilitating, you know, I found myself not being able to do anything, uh, and then that would lead to depression, because you feel like a failure, um, and I'd always been a really, you know, a very successful businesswoman before the IVF, so it was very, very difficult for me. So he originally recommended the clean slate for my psoriasis, because I think it was somebody called Mark, who was taking clean slate who'd had these amazing results with um you know with it so that was really the original reason why i started taking it and i started to notice around about sort of july august time that something happened in the house and that would have you know that would have sent me into uh, first anxiety and then into a huge panic attack 
and it didn't happen uh and i was really surprised um and I know this sounds crazy, but I was actually looking for the panic and the anxiety because I didn't want to feel like I was suppressing it. Because if you suppress it and, you know, if you don't deal with it, basically, it can lead to a, a worse panic attack. And I had a panic so bad one day that I ended up in hospital thinking I was having a heart attack. So the panic didn't happen. Um, and I just thought, OK, maybe it's just because we're in lockdown and a bit chilled at the moment. Um, and I think was when I was literally called a day before because obviously we were in lockdown I wasn't at work and uh, uh, I was called into work and I was given basically 10 hours notice to go into work and that would have definitely sent off a panic attack so my area manager was kept ringing me and saying you know are you okay to do this and I said yeah I'm fine I'm fine and I was fine and I got up in the morning and got ready for work and got on the train and went to work and I remember getting to work and coming out of the train station and just this complete feeling just just overwhelming joy is that I didn't feel anxious at all and I remember leaving Sandy a voice note because I didn't want to talk with him so I knew I'd just start crying so I just left him this voice note and I just said you know dude you know this is incredible I ha I have no anxiety I have no panic I went to work you know beautiful day at work and since since then i haven't had any anxiety or any panic and the only thing that i changed in my life was to say that was the only thing i changed wow rabina that that's incredible were you taking the clean uh not just the clean slate but were you taking the zero in as well no i i i haven't started taking the zero in yet um on the clean slate at the moment mm -hmm. Clayton. I'm listening. I'm loving it. Just, it's, I don't know. I'm, I'm, you know, before my IVF, I never took any medication. I'm an aromatherapist. I've always been into nutrition. And I truly believe that, you know, medication is poisonous. And, you know, and I do that the, the IVF medication poisoned my system. And somehow that led to, you know, obviously it, 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 started, it affected me physically, firstly, and emotionally. But then, obviously, because I was dealing with it, my body was so toxic that obviously that then the body, the mind just suddenly thinks, hang on a minute, you're not dealing with, you know, we're, we're I'm still so toxic. This body is still toxic. Um, and so, you know, chemically, uh, it led to the anxiety and the panic attacks. And clean slate somehow um, has, you know, I, I, I for me personally, that's how I feel, is that somehow the clean slate has detoxed my body now. To, I mean, the psoriasis is a lot better. It's still there. But for me, the, the effect on my mental health has changed my life. It's made me want to live. It's given me uh, goals. It's given me a reason to, to, to be here. That's, that's it. incredible. That's I mean, I'm just totally blown away. So how long how long has it been? I know Dory Dory's got six weeks up on here. Are you about six weeks in? Uh, so I started taking it in at the end of June. Okay. And I started to notice a difference probably at the end of end of sort of July, beginning of August. That's when I started to notice a difference. But my okay. anxiety were bad. I mean, I could have a, a panic attack two or three times a week. And and these weren't these weren't light. These were severe. Oh, uh, you literally feel like you're going to die. I mean, you literally, you, your heart. You, you, you know, the only way I can describe it is, you feel like you're actually going to die of a heart attack, uh, or you're you you can't breathe. You can't, you know it, and you can't. It. It's just imagine the the most frightened you've ever been. It's terror. So in, in that time, so with, when you started to see results and then we, we go from August, August until now, what have you, what have you seen? How do you, how do you compare? I don't, I don't think you can go on a scale of one to 10 because it sounds like you're going from 10 to zero. <laughs> That's yeah. Uh, yeah. 
but how would you how would you explain that because this i mean what you're hitting on is a subject especially here in the united states that probably 20 percent of the population deals with i mean when we talk about mental health and anxiety and and you know how people manage stress and depression i mean this this is a big topic um and it affects loads of people and the fact that you haven't tried zero in yet just amazes me <laughs> but how you know from to simp to simplify the process right or to simplify how you feel and what you've gone through is this something that you would recommend someone that's that's been in the same journey that you were once in and what did what did you experience in in that process when you started when you started to see change in them um were there were there any like detox symptoms initially that you felt a little bit worse or did you just progressively kind of see the change and also i'm throwing like 12 questions at you but what dosage did you start with and where are you now so go. so i started on five drops twice a day okay. uh, Initially, I was concentrating on my skin. I didn't even think about my mental health. That wasn't even a that wasn't even a consideration at that time because, you know, when you're in, when you're you know when you're mentally unwell, you you don't think, oh my god, I'm going to start taking a supplement. It's going to help my mental health. That it was purely about my skin. That's all. So I noticed with my skin that when I started taking it, um, it. It, it you know the redness would go the redness started to go down quite quickly uh, but then it it would flare um and then you know and then when it when it flared the first time sandy said okay you know up your dosage um to seven drops so that's exactly what i did and then you know it would calm down and so initially clayton my concentration was really on the skin i it, i didn't really think about the effects of my of of clean slate on my mental health at all um uh, you know, physically, it you know, my, my skin would start to get better and then it would flare. Um, and then, you know, I'd kind of say Sandy would, Sandy was amazing, you know, regular contact, how are you getting on rubes, you know. Um, and so I'd say to him, you know, I'm having a flare up at the moment. He'd say, okay, you know what, make sure you drink enough water, up it to seven. So now I'm on, I'm on 10 drops twice a day, um, you know, making sure I'm drinking. I'm, I actually drink three liters of water a day. I'm, I'm, you know, because I just think, um, I spoke to somebody a couple of weeks ago and he said, you know, the IVF really did severe, or so much toxicity in your body. So you need to, you know, make sure you drink loads of water. So I'm on three liters of water a day, you know, quite, quite a good diet. I've always been sort of, um, you know, with my diet. but like I said, the, the, the mental health side, wasn't I lost you for a second but I'm trying to trying to throw back the question that I wanted to wanted to add so with your if this, this is it because I want to hit on a key point of how the body dictates this process and not uh not our intention. If you have the two options, you have your mental health, and then you had your had your skin, which we know is a liver issue. Which do you think, for your overall well being, was more important to address first? At the time of taking Clean Slate, I thought it was my physical health, but now, now I I I know that anything physical normally manifests from what's going on emotionally so you know mm -hmm. if i was if i was an anxious if i'm panicked if i'm stressed if i'm depressed that's going to affect me um and my system physically so for me and also you know mental health if 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 you've got mental health issues nothing nothing gives you joy I mean, nothing. You could literally win a million pounds and, 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 and you'd go into a panic about, oh my God, I've won a million pounds and you'd find reasons to panic about that. So for me, personally, m for me, the fact that it's had such a huge effect on my mental health, yeah, fine, I've still got psoriasis. You know, I, I, it's, it's, it's weird. The psoriasis is almost invisible to me now. Well, and I think that's that's awesome. That's part of the process, and it's what I really wanted to hit on. Of your when you go through the 
through the process of just, you know, we can say cleaning, cleaning up the mess that it's your body that's going to dictate what it needs first. And so now that the mental, the mental aspects are improving, I'm going to bet you that over, we'll say the next 30, 60, 90 days that you'll start to see the skin stuff clear up as well, because there's this innate, there's an innate intelligence that the body, how the body energetically is working with with the fragments and clean slate on how it applies them. So it's going to address areas of greatest importance that it knows need to be addressed, which might be might be different than what like you're like you're hitting on. You started taking it from a cosmetic purpose and got results that were a little bit different than expected to start with. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly it. Yeah. That's that's the beautiful aspect. So thank you so much. This is awesome. <laughs> You're welcome. Absolutely. <laughs> We're gonna have to check back and check in with you again six six months from now and get an update and see how you're doing. Oh, but definitely. thank you so much. It was amazing testimonials.